Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I am back today with a brand new strawberry dessert and this one is going to be perfect all summer long. I'll be making my strawberry tart with a pretzel graham cracker crust and no bake strawberry cheesecake filling topped with more strawberries on top. And you guys are going to love everything about this recipe. First of all, it's super, super easy to make. And then that no bake cheesecake filling is so delicious combined with that pretzel graham cracker crust. It's just amazing. Let me show you just how easy it is to make. And the first step to making this tart is preparing the crust. So I already have my oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and into my food processor, I'm going to add in 10 graham crackers. It's going to be about a cup and a half of graham cracker crumbs. Just drop them right in there. And to the graham crackers, I'm going to add in a cup and a half of Mimi pretzels. Close up this food processor and I'm going to pulse this for a minute until fine crumbs form. You don't want any larger chunks in there. And then into the crumbs, I'm going to add in my melted butter and this is going to bind everything together, just kind of bring it together and they'll be easier to form a crust. Close it back up and then pulse this until the crumbs are well coated. And now let's make that crust. So today I'm using an 11 inch tart pan. You can also use a 10 or even a nine inch. Uh, just be aware that you might have a little bit extra filling. I'm gonna transfer this crumb mixture into the pan. Spread this evenly to the edges. And then I'm gonna use my fingers and kind of press the crust along the side. So we have a nice and firm crust. And my graham cracker pretzel crust is ready to go into the oven. I'm going to bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes, just until it's set. And it'll help so it's not so crumbly and it'll be a little bit easier to work with. Once it's baked, just take it out and let it cool completely. Meanwhile, we're going to get started on that amazing no-bake strawberry cheesecake filling. And for my cheesecake filling, I've softened 16 ounces as two eight ounce bricks of cream cheese at room temperature. And I'm going to grab my mixer and cream this for a few minutes on that, until that cream cheese is really light and creamy. Next, I'm going to prepare my gelatin to help set the cheesecake. So I have one tablespoon of unflavored gelatin in my bowl here. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of water. And then I'm going to take this over to the microwave and heat it in 10 to 15 second intervals for about 40 seconds until that gelatin is completely dissolved. And it's gonna be really hot, so be very careful. And I'm going to grab my hot gelatin straight out of the microwave. You don't wanna let it cool and pour it into the cream cheese. And I'm gonna grab my mixer and mix that all in. And now I'm ready to add my next ingredient. So into the cream cheese and gelatin mixture, I'm adding in one cup of chilled heavy cream. And you wanna make sure it's nice and cold so it whisks up nicely. And I've switched to whisk attachment on my mixer. I'm going to cream this together for about three to four minutes until this mixture is light and fluffy. And now I'm ready to add the rest of my ingredients. I have one cup of confectioner's sugar, and you can add more sugar if you want this tart to be a little bit sweeter. I'm also going to add in a teaspoon of strawberry extract. So this is gonna add lots of strawberry flavor. Drop that in. And then I'm going to add about one and a quarter cups of crushed strawberries. Drop those right in. And you can use fresh or frozen berries and mix that in. And my tart crust has cooled completely, so now I'm ready to pour in that strawberry cheesecake filling. Pour it right over, and then spread it evenly to the edges. And if you have a little filling left over, you don't wanna discard it. Instead, you can make individual parfaits. So what I like to do, is just transfer that into a little cup, and then you can refrigerate this along with the cheesecake. And this is especially useful if you're going to be using a smaller tart pan. 
and my strawberry tart is ready for the refrigerator. I'm going to let it chill in there for a couple hours or until that cheesecake filling is completely set. You can even do this overnight. Just leave it in the fridge overnight until that cheesecake filling is set and then we'll come back to add the sliced strawberries on top. All right, my no bake cheesecake filling has set completely and now it's time to add the strawberry. So you wanna do this when you're ready to serve. So if you're making the strawberry tart like a couple days ahead of time, leave the strawberries off and add them when you're ready to serve. So we're gonna start on the outer edge and just kind of work our way in. Now the strawberries from the mar farmer's market, so it's not the most perfect strawberry, but it's extra sweet and it's gonna be delicious. And this beautiful stunning tart is all done. I'm gonna grab a sharp knife and cut right in. Now keep in mind that this graham cracker crust is going to be a little bit crumbly, but that's not going to affect the flavor of the cheesecake at all. Check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that no-bake cheesecake layer. It's going to taste so, so good. And that's it guys for my easy and stunning strawberry tart recipe. For the full recipe, make sure to head on down into that video description box. I have a link there that'll take you over to my website so you can print this recipe off and share it with your family and friends. And now time to dig in and enjoy. I absolutely love arranging the strawberries on top like that. It's just so, so pretty. Oh, and I can't wait to enjoy this. This, this cheesecake filling looks so light and fluffy. It's just so soft. I'm gonna grab some fresh strawberries off the top. Mmm, mm-hmm. This is the best strawberry tart ever. You guys are going to love that no-bake cheesecake filling on the inside. It is so light and fluffy and packed with so much incredible strawberry flavor. I love that there's fresh strawberries inside the filling and also on top so you have so much fresh berry flavor. And then that pretzel graham cracker crust is something else. They complement each other so well. I love the little salty bits from the pretzels and the crust. It's so crunchy and delicious. You guys are going to love this strawberry tart. Don't forget to head on down into the video description box for the link. I hope you guys enjoyed this strawberry tart at home and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.